Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I am so happy to be back. Thank you guys for sticking around. I know I haven't been here in a little while. If you saw my post uh, about four months ago, I just was taking the summer off and spending time with my daughter. We had all the end of the school year activities going on and it's just been, uh, been a long summer, but I was happy to be able to take a break and spend all the time I could with my daughter. So today I am going to share how I decorated my kitchen and my coffee bar for fall. And if you are new, hi, my name is Dawn. Welcome to my channel. If you're returning, like I said, thank you so much for coming back. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. I'll put that below so you guys can see all my pictures. I'm pretty active over there too when I'm not on YouTube because it's easier to post over there. However, Hazel, are you wanting to say hello? This is my cat Hazel if you haven't met her before if you're new, but she is wanting to be part of the video as usual. But I'm gonna do my decor tours a little different this time around. I'm gonna do different sections and different videos just so the videos aren't so long, but you guys will still be able to see all the decor in my house. So I'm gonna get started over here by the pantry door. So now my decor this year is kind of the same as last year i did add some new pieces in so i will tell you where the new pieces are from as usual i will tell you where everything is from in case you are looking for any of the items i have but right here i have the pumpkin spice apron i hung up last year i did find this at home goods last year and it's just so cute i love the pattern on it i think it's just so pretty and of course it says pumpkin spice and i have it hung up on this little heart hook that heart hook i found from the Target Dollar Spot Bullseye's Playground many years ago for Valentine's Day, but there's a look at that apron. And then on my pantry door, this is a new wreath. I got this from Home Goods probably a couple weeks ago, so it is still available if you're looking for it. Look at how cute that owl is with a little crown. That is what caught my eye, but of course I like the pinks in the color scheme here and it has pumpkins just so so pretty so I was excited to find that um, I can't remember the price on it their wreaths are pretty expensive I think it was between 20 and 25 dollars but totally worth it because it is so beautiful and then I have my fall sweet fall sign up there I've had that for a few years I did get that from home goods they do have it again this year and when I bought it it was $12.99 I don't know if the price went up but there are those things. And then I just wanted to touch quickly on a couple of things I have on top of my fridge. So I got that really, really beautiful air fryer. It's pink from Amazon and the knife set is also from Amazon. I will link anything I can that is available online for you guys so you can check it out, but so cute and I've used both of them and they both work really well. So I really like those. And then I'll show you the top of the cabinets real quick since we're up here how I have everything situated, a couple of new things up there, but pretty much the same as last time. So if you're wondering where those plants are from, well, they're not plants, but those those pink leafy arrangements, they are from Home Goods. I got them last year, but I have seen them floating around this year. So if you are still looking for them, you might be able to find them. And I think I actually saw them at either Marshalls or TJ Maxx too. So keep your eyes peeled for sure if you're looking for that. Pretty much everything up here on the top of the cabinets is from Home Goods, TJ Maxx, or Marshalls that I have accumulated over the last year or so. And these pumpkin wreaths, I'll show you these real quick. I did actually DIY these last year. So I think they turned out so pretty and just look really cute above my oven. So here on one of the countertops, this is my display that I had last year. It is exactly the same. So the pumpkin spice canister is by Ray Dunn. I got that last year from Home Goods. The garland that I have underneath it, I got that from Etsy and I will link the Etsy shop. I don't think she makes the beaded garlands anymore, but I will still link her shop just in case. The pitcher, I get a lot of questions about this. I say this every time, but I did get this from Home Goods last year. And then the leaves, those are from Michael's last year. The little wooden tree stump tray, that is from Marshall's. I got that many years ago. The acorn and the little fox, I got those from the Target dollar spot. I think that was last year or the year before. 
candle from Bath and Body Works. That is from a few years ago. And then the squirrel is from Hobby Lobby. I did get him, oh, I would say like maybe five or six years ago. I don't know if they have him this year. I haven't really been to Hobby Lobby to check out the fall that much this year. I've been really going to Home Goods and TJ Maxx a lot, trying to hunt down all the cute pink fall and Halloween things. Then here over on my oven, I just have that white pumpkin uh, baking dish from what is the brand Staub. I got this, I would say like two or three years ago. I think they have them on Amazon, but they do have them at Bed Bath & Beyond if they still sell them. However, they do have a really cute, cheaper version at Home Goods this year. I did recently see them. So if you're looking for something like this, definitely check Home Goods out. And then on the oven, I have this really cute towel that I got from Target Bullseye's Playground. I would say last year or the year before, and it says everything tastes better when you make it together. I think it's really cute. Then on this side, of the countertops pretty much the same as last year just a couple new pieces so in my little crock I have the Ray Dunn spatulas I got those I think it was last year this little owl timer I got this from Hobby Lobby last year or the year before this really cute owl spoon rest I got this from home goods this year and then over here just some of my cutting boards and the autumn sign I got that one from the Target Dollar Spot, Bullseye's Playground, um, probably a few years ago, I don't remember. I have a lot of things that I reuse, which I love to do. And then this candle I got from Target, I think it was last year or the year before. Just my usual canisters and my KitchenAid mixer. And then I have the Hello Pumpkin towel. I got that from Target Bullseye's Playground, I think it was last year. This little guy is new, so I got this owl crock from Home Goods this year. It matches that spoon rest, and then I just put some of my other spatulas and things in there. Uh, the Hello Pumpkin was from Joann's a few years ago. Pumpkin Everything one is from Amazon, and then the Pink Heart one is also from Amazon. And then over here, I just have my Bath & Body Works wallflower plug-in. I've had that for a few years, and I have Pumpkin Apple plugged in which the pumpkin apple ones that I have are from I think last year and I did notice that they changed the scent this year. If any of you have noticed that, let me know in the comments and I'm kind of bummed because it was my favorite fall scent until they changed it. So to me now it smells a little more spicy than sweet and I'm not really a big fan. So a little bit bummed out about that, but we will find a new one. And then this pink pumpkin little baking dish, I got that from Home Goods last year. That little stand it's on is from the Target Bullseye's Playground years and years ago. The white tree stump is from Bath & Body Works years and years ago. And then that candle is from last year, Bath & Body Works. And then over on my sink, this is what I have. It's really dark over here, I apologize because of the window. But I just have my dish soap dispenser. That's from Target, I got that a couple years ago. The Fox hand soap holder is from Bath & Body Works a couple years ago, and I have pumpkin apple soap in there and then my little scrub brush for the dishes. And then over here, I don't really have anything fall up on that side of the counters, but I do have this cute little towel from, this is actually from Kroger. I got this so, so long ago, so cute. That collection was so cute. I wish they would release something like that again, but I love it so much. So it is definitely going to be on my dishwasher for many years to come. And guys, I'm sorry if the light keeps going in and out. It is overcast today, which, the weather here in Texas has been so hot. If you live in Texas, you know what I'm talking about. I know it's been hot in other places too, but man, we need a break from these 100 degree days. And today, of course, when I wanna film, the sun is hiding behind a cloud, but that's okay. We're gonna, oh, here it's coming back. <laughs> but we're, we're gonna get through it. And on my wall mug rack, I have it the same way I've had it for the last few years with my little autumn sign. That one, I think that was from the Target Bullseye's Playground years ago. The wreath I got from Home Goods a few years ago. The little Hello Pumpkin sign here, I got that from Target Bullseye's Playground a few years ago. And then all the mugs were from Target a couple years ago. And then over on the window seat, it's gonna get dark again, of course, but I just have these two pillows here. The heart pillow, I got that from, I think it was Home Goods or Marshalls a couple years ago. It came in set of two. And then the Hello Fall pillow is from the Target Bullseye's Playground a couple years ago. This is a little centerpiece that I have on my kitchen island. I did switch this up a little bit this year. That candle, the white pumpkin candle, I got that I think from Home Goods or Marshalls. I think it was Marshalls like last year. 
the pumpkin. It came in a set of three. I got those from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And then these flowers, how pretty are they guys? These are new. I got these from Dollar Tree this year. They are so pretty. I love the pink and the white and the pumpkins in there. Just so, so cute. So those were like, I think a dollar 25 per little bunch. And I have four bunches in there to make it really full. So super cute if you're looking for something like that. And this is how I have the table set up. So I do a simple little centerpiece here so I can move it around as needed. Since I have a kid, I like to be able to move stuff easily so she can do whatever she wants to do at the table, play, homework, whatever. So it's really simple to move around. But this table runner, I may have shown this to you guys in one of my last home decor videos, but I got that from Hobby Lobby during Valentine's or Easter time, somewhere around there. And the pink velvet pumpkins on each side, those are from Hobby Lobby as well last year. And then everything on the centerpiece is from Hobby Lobby. So if you're new, I'm just gonna tell you what I did. So the tray, I painted it. I got that in like the regular little section where they have wood things that you can paint. And then those little jars are in the wedding section and the flowers are actually wedding bouquets. And there is a full view of my coffee bar and that is how the whole kitchen looks. I'm gonna go back to the coffee bar in just a second, but that is how my kitchen looks. Of course, it's getting dark over there, but that is what everything looks like tied together in case you guys were curious how everything was set up. So the coffee bar sign, I did get that from Etsy. I will link that below again. I did do a post recently telling you guys where I got it because I've been getting a lot of questions about it. And here are the mugs that I have set up this year. So the owls, I've had those for a couple of years. I got them from the at home store and they are actually just in the regular kitchen section if they still sell them. And then the heart mugs are already done. I got the ones with the pink handles during Valentine's day and then the pink one, I think was also available during Valentine's Day, but I've had that for a year or so. And then moving on to the top of the coffee bar, that's how everything is set up. So a few new pieces this year. This iridescent pumpkin mug, I got this last year from Macy's Backstage. I actually had two of them and one of them sadly broke, but it's really pretty. And I don't know if they have it this year. I haven't really checked it out yet. The heart container, the pink heart container is from Home Goods. I've had that for a few years. The little owl container, I got that one from Home Goods as well last year. And then these really cute pumpkin coasters, I got them from the Target Bullseyes Playground last year. And then in the middle I have this canister that says pumpkin cupcakes. So this is actually the Ray Dunn Sweets canister. I just turned it around and put a decal on it. I've had this like this for a couple years and I thought it just tied into everything. So cute. The garland, I got that from Etsy a few years ago. The pink heart stand that is from target bullseye's playground like five years ago or so it was part of a valentine's collection and then this pink flower stand that is from home goods i think i got that at the beginning of the year or last year at some point the pumpkin canister is from target last year i think it was from the yeah it was from bullseye's playground because they had a couple different versions and i do have some little fairy lights in there that light up at nighttime. and then on my tiered tray the bottom, this pink pumpkin canister, I got that from Home Goods last year. Just a little white pumpkin. I've had that for a few years. I think it was from Target Bullseye's Playground a while back. These really cute pumpkin mugs, how adorable. These are from TJ Maxx. So it comes in a set of two, and I think they were like $6.99 and super adorable. They are currently available now. I just got them this week. And then on the top, I have the pumpkin cupcake candle from Bath and Body Works a few years back. Just this little pink pumpkin sign that is from the Target Bullseye's Playground. I think it was last year or the year before. And then the little pink baking dish back here, the pumpkin. I got that from Home Goods last year, I believe. And this is what the shelves look like. So the two pumpkins, those are from Home Goods a few years ago. The fall sign is actually a sign from Hobby Lobby. I've had it for a few years. They may still have it this year. They did have it last year, but it is actually a black and white buffalo check print and I painted it pink. And then just the little tray with the pumpkins down there. That tray is from Michael's a few years back and then the pumpkins were from Hobby Lobby last year. 
So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like if you did and subscribe if you're not. I will be doing another video showing my living room and entryway and possibly my bedroom because I did get a few new things for in there. So I will have that up soon. I hope you guys are having a great fall. Well, it's not fall yet, but I hope you guys are having a great end of summer, beginning of fall, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.